हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दी आई आई टी जैम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मैथमेटिकल स्टडीस्टिक्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी क्वेश्चन वन टू फाइव कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन ऑफ दी वी कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दी पार्ट वन सो हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस वन लेट सी स्टार्ट दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच इज रिलेटेड टू द सीक्वेंस ऑफ द नॉन जीरो रियल नंबर्स एंड यू हैव टू चेक विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट ट्रू दैट इज इफ रेशियो रेशियो ऑफ द सीक्वेंस इज कन्वर्जेंट दैन सीक्वेंस इज इट सेल्फ कन्वर्जेंट If it is a bounded, then convergent. If some relation is there, then it's a Cauchy. If it's Cauchy, then it's a convergent. So it means you have to always prove this with the respect to the counter examples. So whenever there is a counter examples are there, you have to think about this sequence in a very simple manner. You can see that this is a bounded sequence because its answer is either one or minus one. But is it uh, is it a convergent sequence? No, because the limit is not well defined. So it is not a convergent sequence. So clearly, see this option is cancelled out because this is the bounded sequence, but this is not convergent. Also, you can see that if you consider the another example of this for this one, let's say uh, for the sine of the n, this is a sequence. It is a bounded sequence, lies between minus one to one, but it is again a not a convergent R there. So this option is cancelled out. You can see this is the mode of the a n. So what is the mode of this particular example? This is my plus one. So it means this is the constant series. It's a Cauchy sequence. Yes, is uh, is it a n? That is, this is also a Cauchy sequence. No, this is not a Cauchy sequence. So this option is also cancel out. If ratio of the convergent, then it's also be there. Then again, it is a false because if you consider the same example here, what is the ratio of this? This is a minus one, which is a convergent, and but this is not a convergence so this option is also cancel out also you can see that if you consider another example say 2 raised to power n then what is the an plus 1 upon an that is nothing but my 2 that's a finite so it's a convergent but this is not a convergent why because its limit goes to the infinity so it means all the options are cancel out this is my correct option look at the another one is there so how you can find this uh, function that is you have to find the limits are there so if you substitute h approach is 0 what is that this is x sin 1 by x minus x sin 1 by x that's a 0 by 0 form are there so it is a 0 by 0 form so you have to apply the l of eta rule are there so you can differentiate this with respect to the h so what will happen this is a 1 is here so this is 1 by x plus h plus of x plus h cos of 1 plus x of into 1 minus there is no h in it it's a 0 divided by 1 now you can take h as a 0 so it will be my sin 1 by x plus x cos 1 by x this is nothing but my f of x now you have to think about that is a 2 by pi so sin 1 by x is a pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 cos pi by 2 is a 0 so the answer is 1 it's a correct statement but we need a Not true. One by pi. So if you substitute here, one by pi sine pi plus pi one by pi cos of pi. Cos pi is my minus one. This is zero. So the answer is minus one by pi. This is the wrong statement. Also, you can check easily that it's all are same. It is a not continuous because you can see this is not a continuous. So all are my correct statements. So the right answer of this problem is my B. how you can find the determinant of this so one way is that you can expand them you can expand like this way this is 1 plus x whole square minus 81 and so on but i will tell you a very simple shortcut way i can consider this as my matrix m can i x write this 1 as 9 minus 8 9 minus 8 9 minus 8 because all are 9 are there so i can write this as 9 9 9 here and what is the remaining part is x minus 8 of identity matrix now our target is to find the determinant of this how you can find that determinant if i find the eigen value of this m then the product of the eigen value is nothing but my determinants so what is the eigen value of this eigen values of this are 0 0 and 27 all of you know that the determinant is a 0 the sum of them will be the 27 so these are there what are the eigen value of this are there this is 3 cross 3 matrix so there are here are there so What is the eigen values of the m? X minus eight, x minus eight, x plus nineteen. So therefore, what is my f of x? F of x is my determinant. So the product of the eigen value is my determinant. Now you can see it's a polynomial, it's a continuous function. Also, you can see the x 
highest power is a derivative so it's an increasing function so you can check at the 9 what is the value at x is equal to 9 you can substitute this is 1 this is 28 and when x is equal to 10 you can substitute here what is the value of this is 4 this is my 29 so this is my 116 is the right answer of this problem look at the another example are there so you can see which of the following again is not a true statements so if you closely look about these problems you can see these two options are look similar you can see here but at the time only one correct statement is true because it's a b and b complement so there is definitely that answer is one of them also you can see from here so what is that it is given to you a condition b so what is that i can write this is the value of the a condition b this is given to you as of p of a what is the meaning of that this is given to you for the first th uh, first third and fourth option b now if i start from the first option what is that how we can write that this is a intersection b upon p of a what is the value of this from p upon a this is nothing but my p of b it means this is my two statement look about this option if we start from this i can write this as b intersection a complement upon a complement what is the b intersection a complement is nothing but the p of b minus p of b intersection of a divided by p of a complement b. oh sorry p of b this is p of b now what is the p of a intersection b here since it is a greater than sign but now it's we need a negative sign so it will be my less than of p of b minus p of a p of b divided by p of b so you can see p of b is, is non-zero so we can cancel out so it's a p of a this is nothing but p of a complement so that's also the correct statement so this option is false b also you can see this why this is not true because whenever this is one what is the meaning of that p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b is one so they and a and b cannot be independent so assume what will happen if a and b are independent so it means this is p of a plus p of b when they are independent then the intersection will be nothing but my product this will be here so this is true only when p of a is p of b is my one but you can see one doesn't lies in between them it means a and b cannot be independent so it means this option is also be the true statement so the only option is my d is the right answer if you want to solve them how you can find them if we start from here i can write this value as p of a intersection of this upon p of b i can write this value as 1 minus p of a union b upon p of b how you can expand them this i can write like of here this is 1 minus p of a plus minus p of b minus minus plus p of a intersection b upon p b complement now a intersection b is greater than so it means this the, this will be the greater than sign always but here is a less than sign so the right answer is my d look at the last question are there so which is related to the moment generating function which of the following is not the moment generating function what is the property of the moment generating function is whenever you substitute t is equal to 0 the answer will be 1 so we can check which one is not satisfied firstly you can see here e raised power 0 is 1 m of 0 is 1 so this is the correct statement which one is there if you substitute t is 0 this is 1 this is 0 so it's a 5 so this means this is not be a 1 so the right answer is here you can check that when this is my 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 of 2 minus 1 m of 0 is my 1 so again this is my 1 so this is the correct answer m of 0 is 1 so the only right wrong answer is my a is there so this is the way you can solve these five questions with some tricks are there we will solve some question, more questions question 6 to 10 in our next videos till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various best of luck students happy learning